AI agents are coming for your job, or you could give them a job by using the tools feature in Stack AI. The tools feature allows you to empower your workflows with tool calling functionality, meaning you can give the AI systems the ability to call functions and tools on their own. You just provide some general instructions. We'll cover how to set up tool calling, discuss best practices, and show you how to create your own custom tools. Let's get started. From the workflow builder, most often you add nodes and you want them to pass context to the large language model for its reasoning steps every single time the workflow runs. This works a lot of the time, but sometimes in the cases of something like a conversational agent, you want the AI system to be able to determine which data it needs directly, as opposed to you telling it what it's going to need. Some cases of this are, say, a conversational system where the user might be asking about the weather one moment or asking about a stock price another moment. The large language model itself needs to be able to make the determination of what data it needs. Another case of this is when you give the large language model context from a knowledge base. If it's only provided one time through the documents node, the large language model can't explicitly query that knowledge base to find more information to supplement its current understanding of the data. Tools allow for this type of functionality, where the AI can determine what data it needs and go out and call some sort of function to get that data or to take even further actions, maybe creating data in another system. So let's look at how to set up a tool. In the large language model node, which we have here, one for Anthropic, you can see the add tool button in the bottom right hand corner. Click here and you'll see a list of all of the pre-built tools built into Stack AI. Everything from searching in BigQuery to uh, sending an email to creating issues and managing issues in Jira, doing LinkedIn searches, creating pages in Notion, sending emails, vector searches, querying Salesforce, and so many more. To add a tool, one simple example of this is just to add a web search functionality. When you hover over the tool, you see the different parameters that the tool can take in, which will be exposed to the large language model, as well as the configuration parameters which you can configure once you select that tool. Let's click this one and clicking the gear icon, we can configure it to say we want this search to be run from desktop from the US in English language. Now let's see an example of this. So I've already given my large language model a system prompt telling it that it's answering questions over web search just to be really explicit that it has access to this tool. And let's go ahead and delete these other nodes here that we no longer need. Now in the export panel, I've set this agent to be a chat assistant and I've given it a name saying it's web search enhanced just as an example. Now, let's just ask it a question with something it can only answer by doing a web search. Uh, what is the latest news this week? Top three. You can see that it used the web search tool linked to a bunch of news sites, which you can click here and visit. And we can see that it's referencing the specific links from our sources here. Let's add another tool to show how you can combine these tools to give an even more powerful experience. Going back to our model, we can click Add Tool, and this time let's add the Yahoo Finance Analytics. Publish this. Yeah, so what we want to do is say, tell me about the Salesforce stock over the last month and link to the latest uh, 10Q, 10K filings. Now we can see that it's using both tools one for generating this dynamic stock chart using the Yahoo Finance Analytics, and it used the web search tool to generate even more information with references and link to the Salesforce Investor Relations page here. So this is pretty cool. So in this case, our agent is referencing two different tools to dynamically go out and pull information into the chat as it sees fit. Sometimes you want to explicitly specify information that it will have on every run. And to do that, you can go back into the workflow and add something like a document node, get reference, our financial docs. And now every time this runs, you can give these documents as a reference to go with the context of the rest of the user's question. There are so many tools you can access here and more getting added every week. Sometimes though, you have a custom system that is either proprietary to your company or project or just hasn't been added yet. If that's the case for you, you can click on custom here and create your own custom tool. Custom tool needs to match the open API Swagger specification, which you can find at swagger.io. You can also find more about this in the Stack AI docs on building custom tools. Especially when building your own custom tool, 
you have to very clearly describe what the tool does and what the different functions that it has are to your large language model in the prompt. If you build a custom tool, please check out this optimizing tool usage with prompting section as it's very helpful for explicitly defining what your tool does to your AI system. So let's talk about some best practices. One thing you can do is be really specific and precise in your prompts on when you want the large language model to use a specific tool. The second thing you can do is break up the task into multiple large language model nodes. In this case, you might have one tool doing web search and finance analytics and another, say, interfacing with your Salesforce CRM. And lastly, if needed, you can always give very specific examples in your system prompt to try and tune the large language model towards the response that you want. There are some examples of this for the custom tools in the docs. Stay tuned for the next video in this series.